In a previous video, I shared many of the options available to our clients looking to right size out of their current home and into a new one. Exciting options really do exist. A few of you reached out and shared that you're kind of struggling with where to move to. So here are the questions that I often ask to help narrow your search. Interestingly enough, they don't start with the number of bedrooms and bathrooms. What's driving this move? Do you have proponents and opponents of your move? How long do you think you'll reside in this next home? Are there other life changes that will likely occur for you within the next few years? What makes the most economic sense? What would you realistically like to duplicate from your current home? And what would you like to change? Who do you want to see more of in your life? What people? Where do these people live? Is there a chance that a child, parent, or friend might end up living with you for an extended period of time? Do you have or will you have a pet? How do you envision spending your weekdays? How about your evenings and weekends? What do you want to spend more time doing that you're not currently doing enough of? What leisure activities are most important to you? Will you be entertaining people? If so, how many people and how would you spend that time together? Is there anything or any place that you'd like to be close to? You know, work, the airport, places of worship, clubs, top-notch healthcare. And what are your top three must-haves and your top three deal-breakers? Sometimes these questions result in a client renting rather than buying. Oftentimes, it alters what they want to look at if they choose to buy. It's only after these questions that the amount of bedrooms and bathrooms really matter. These questions solicit really thoughtful conversations. Thoughtful conversations result in positive outcomes. We'll find you what you want. We just need to work together to determine what it is that you truly want. So let us be your guide.